in the presence of the children of God, I want to invite you to come forward. Testimony time is a blessing time. So uh, I want to see unusual people that don't usually speak in the front. This is an opportunity. Amen. Clap for the Lord. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm inviting people that don't usually come. This is today. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm here to thank God today because yesterday was my birthday. I <laughs> I thank God for another year God gave to me and He gave me the good health. That's why I praise God today. Happy birthday. So all the May, May children, happy birthday to you. Okay, thank you for coming. Anyone else, please start coming. Just come to this side so that we can, we can walk with time. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Um. Whew. Pastor is calling me to testify today. I didn't play. So, um, so uh, back in November, I believe, uh, I got a ticket. That was my first ticket in the U.S. So I got a ticket, and um, <laughs> I, went, I went. I went to court, um, and the DA kind of dismissed the ticket and said, oh, "If you take a driving class, I'm gonna uh, reduce it or dismiss it. So you bring me the certificate." It was in November, so. I was supposed to come back in March. But um, what happened in March is my mom got sick and it's a long, that's another testimony of being concocted to be told here. But she got sick and I completely, that was the last thing in my mind to think about me having a citation or what. So I missed court um, and they didn't call me, I did not know. So on, uh, I think on, we, we had prayer here Monday, the Monday where I was sick. So I had jury, I had to serve for jury duty. I did not serve because I was at the hospital, I was sick. So I went back Tuesday. I think um, Papa Sachs and everybody came to my house to pray for my mom. And I told them, I have jury duty. I don't know if you remember. Uh, and I missed it. I have to go give my doctor notes to explain to them that I was sick. I couldn't serve. So I will come back the next time you schedule me. So on Tuesday, I took time off. I went to court to explain and they, they dismissed it and then they told me to come back on June 24th. So I decided, oh, since I'm here and I have the certificate of my driving class, let me just go and give it so that um, they can remove this, they can dismiss this ticket thing. I get there, the lady looked at me and was like, oh, two things. Uh, there's a warrant for your arrest, so you have to decide right now. Do you go out and get arrested or you go turn yourself in right now? Either way, you're getting arrested to die today. I'm like, okay, I don't understand. Arrested, like, why? He said, because you missed court date, you didn't come for your citation. I'm like, the ticket was supposed to be dismissed. She said, I don't want, I don't know if you can call a lawyer right now, but I'm just telling you, decide right now. You're going to turn yourself in or you get out, but the, the sheriff already know that you are in the building. So the moment you leave, you're getting arrested. I don't have my phone. I panic. I don't know what to do. So I sit there and I was like, I can't help you. So I was like, okay, I remember this scripture that said, never present help in time of need. And I kept repeating that in my mind. So I literally teared up because gel and me, <laughs> it's not going to work. Um, I don't like orange <laughs> jumpsuits. So. <laughs> so I sit there not knowing what to do. And then this lady tapped me in the back and goes like, um, excuse me, I kind of heard what's going on. This lady is not going to help you. What she said is true, I'm a lawyer. Um, you're going to jail, either way. But let me see your paperwork. So I show her my my uh, certificate, and she goes and says, okay, I need to call my friend DA. It's late, I don't know if they're still in time, but let me try to help you. So she call a DA, she call a judge right there and then, um, and then they come and they just remove that warrant for our arrest. And I'm just, and then it tells, she tells me, just go home and come back on Friday, and this thing will be gone. And on Friday, I came back. They even removed the fees, uh, the fine that was supposed to pay for court. And I just want to thank God because I would have been in jail. Amen. Thank, thank God we, we are not visiting you in jail. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, I would like to thank God today because God is good. I wanted to express my gratitude to God, to express how he's faithful, his goodness. So last Friday, that was uh, my daughter, my oldest high school graduation. 
that was a long journey. <laughs> That's why I decided to come here in front of you to testify about the goodness of God. That was a journey. We know this step is done. We are going to the next step. It's going to be another journey for the college. So thank you so much for your prayer, for your you know encouragement, everything the church is doing for our children. We thank God for that. God bless you. Praise the Lord. God is good. So I'm here to testify. Last time I was about to testify about the Holy Spirit was so much. The power of the Lord was in the house. I was like, we don't even have time. So I'm going to do it on Sunday. So I have the same testimony like my sister Nancy. He was about, I didn't get the ticket. Calm down. <laughs> because I you say, ha, ah, no, I didn't get the ticket. So my testimony is so wonderful. And then I just start a new job. And then a part-time job, I'm going in the morning. And then I'm uh, in my 90 days. So the last week we were here, people were here. They know that about to finish our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And then pastor preached about giving. He said this giving is a decision to deny yourself so that all they can enjoy what you are enjoying. It's the joy you put in order that push God to bless you. I was like, this word is too much. And then pastor asked us to pray. And then when we begin to pray, God was telling me, you don't have to pray. Men, go to the front. Tell people we need to bless that man of God so we can see if he's a God of covenant or not. I was shaking. I was like, what are those people going to say? And me and pastor, we be talking about that. So we try to get the money. I don't like those stuff. And then I was like, I, I don't want to do it. But my heart was burning. The Holy Spirit pushed me to the front. And then I said it. People were more than 20. We blessed the man of God. And then after two weeks, I was now at work and then went back to work. My supervisor called me, hey, come here. Take this paper, sign. I see something. I was like, this is my new job. And then I was like, can I ask the Holy Spirit sage? Shut up, stay quiet. I see they used to pay me $20, $20 to uh, 25 cents. I see they moved me from $20 to $22.65. So they give me $2.35. I was like, this is a new job? Are you guys joking? I, I spent five years in the job who they give me 20 cents. And then the Holy Spirit was like, you follow the instruction. This is the blessing of God. God bless you. 